Oh, he's a giant. He's that one that was on trail camera. Oh my God. I'm Caleb Andrews from The Process Outdoors, and boy, do we have a big buck story for you. Stick with us. The story with this buck actually started about two years ago uh, during velvet and then on into late October and all the way throughout January we we're getting pictures of this awesome looking what we thought was a three and a half year old uh, judging by his body but he was a six by five uh, back then with a pretty distinguishable frame on him uh, just couldn't really get a good look at him on trail camera and figure out if he was a shooter or not and we never did end up uh, seeing him on hoof that season but ended up looking for him the next summer and uh, he was nowhere to be found the neighbors actually ended up sending us a couple pictures of him during the rut and he had absolutely blown up you could tell it was the same buck he had kind of had the same flyer on it off his left main beam uh, which was his g4 at the time and uh, this was definitely a deer that we knew we had to do something about uh, coming into this season so we actually implemented a few different habitat uh, improvements on this property. Our CRP went out of contract, so we ended up burning it down and we had a farmer come in and cash rent some corn, which uh, one of the trail cam picks we got of this guy was over the standing corn or going out into the standing corn uh, here this year. So we'd like to think that our uh, management techniques definitely improved the chances of him popping back up on our property this year. And sure enough, on November 7th, he ended up showing back up on our property looking for some of our does. So very fortunate to uh, have a buck like this on our property. And uh, as you'd know it, the weather ended up lining up perfectly for that weekend and being a nice cold weekend. So I hit the stand and uh, it was some pretty rough hunting. Uh but hunted all day uh, Friday and Saturday and ended up actually having an encounter with this guy uh, Friday morning. I saw him follow two does up into a real, real thick brushy area of our property where a lot of the big buck sign usually pops up throughout the year. Uh, it's a place we never go into, but I figured that he had uh, followed, up her, followed her up there to go ahead and breed her. And I was going to go back after him one last time on Sunday morning. It was perfect morning and the wind was just right uh, to sit over the uh, creek bottom on our property. It was actually just north, uh, northwest of this thicket. And typically in the mornings, the uh, deer come down from this thicket and they'll go to an uncut cornfield in the timber uh, to feed. And uh, this morning was no exception. And about 9 o'clock... Uh, I heard some noise behind me and sure enough there he was just staring dead at my tree about you know 30 yards coming down off the ridge eye level and uh, he wasn't too sure what was going on down in the creek bottom and ended up going back up into the thicket which was a little little depressing for me I had bow ready I was ready to rock and roll and uh, I figured I wouldn't see him again the rest of the season but as luck would have it I look over and his doe actually uh, was to my left and she was coming down from the ridge and I looked back further behind me and he had actually turned around and went to follow her down the hill and uh, he stared me down for a good five minutes felt like a half hour but uh, was taking a look around and 
didn't end up necessarily seeing me. He was a little bit unsure of the situation, I think, but he was, once again, eye level 30 yards. My legs were shaking like crazy. I can't believe he didn't see my arrow bumping around on my wrist, but uh, he ended up making the wrong choice and following her down from the hill. Sadly, he kind of caught me off guard and had me pinned down, so my camera was on the other side of the tree, and I just absolutely could not uh, get him on camera for the shot, but... Uh, he walked up to about 20 yards. I stopped him when I drew and uh, shot him. And I think he dropped a little bit and arrow ended up spining him and put another one in him. The second shot was uh, pretty lethal, went right through his heart. So uh, the rest was history. Ended up calling my dad right away. He was the first call and uh, he was definitely super pumped. I dropped him, baby. The shot was a little high and he flopped over and uh... I put another one in him. Oh, he's a giant. He's that one that was on trail camera. Oh, oh my God. What do you think? You ready to go get him? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm gonna drive that. <laughs> I'm excited. Hope you guys are. Look at this guy, huh? Oh. What do you think, Waylon? This is a good dog. What do you think, Kiel? So it was a great morning uh, this morning. We brought the kids out to help come and find him. Got Waylon and Wyatt and Keely and Danielle. So. And uh, the biggest thank you goes to my wife, Danielle, for letting me come out here and selfishly spend my time chasing these white tails. So couldn't have done it without her love and support, especially with these three wonderful kids uh, running around crazy all the time. So very thankful and uh, very happy with this guy. Sounds great. I'm going to go put my hands on him and cry a little bit. <laughs> Dad, yeah. this is the biggest one I've always known. I'll count three. Okay, one, two.